everybody, welcome back to another episode of Old West Fishing. My name is Christian Hatch and today I'm going to be bringing you a short video on how to rig a Yamamoto Sanko. Uh, normally I'm not really big into the fishing the bright uh, neon bright colors. That's more for open and clear water which is not here in Omaha. But uh, I'm going to be using a bright uh, morning dawn uh, pink Sanko. Uh, just so you guys can see it a little clearer on the camera. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Jason just pulled a toad out of Walnut Pond. I just caught a little dink, didn't, uh, record it. He's gonna be on the video. Look at him, he's chubby, man. All right. So the first way to rig a Yamamoto Senko is you're going to take a 3-aught Gamakatsu, or, or just a regular 3-aught EWG hook, EWG obviously standing for extra wide gap, but uh, I prefer Gamakatsus because these guys are just ridiculously sticky sharp. So the first way to rig these guys is to take the nose of the Senko. So a Senko is tipped from the... Uh, it gets smaller in size, so it, you have the nose here, and then eventually down into the tail. Uh, so I take the nose, put it right in the hook, just right up to where that point turns, push that through the plastic, spin it around, and a nice thing about Sankos, it's not like you're rigging a swim bait or anything like that, but, uh, uh, so you don't have to worry about which way it's oriented. Then you just kind of measure it out, bring it back, and hook it right on through. And you, nice thing about rigging it Texas style, uh, a little Texas rig, is that you can pull it and skin hook it right on the shallow underneath of the plastic and now it's nearly completely weedless so nice thing about texas rig is that you can f fish it completely weightless and this is just gonna saunter down in a nice even uh, uh direction or you could spice it up and put something like either a lead weight or a tungsten weight and the great thing about Le lead versus tungsten is a whole another concept all on itself. Uh, the pros of tungsten and the pros of uh, lead, the cons of tungsten, the cons of lead, these can go back and forth. But basically you just want to slip it down in the nose, uh, up on the line, and I like to have it free floating with a little peg stop. I have my little pegs right here and I'll peg it off about, oh, about five to six inches up away from uh, the nose of the lure, and so it can free, free swing back and forth. So yeah, that's one way to rig a Yamamoto Senko. Way two is a shaky head jig. Uh, so I have three different, uh, three different weights and sizes of shaky head. So I have a, a eighth ounce, four ounce, fourth of an ounce, <laughs> and a half ounce with a. This is some serious heavy duty cover. Uh, hook, but I'll show you uh, what to do with that guy in just a second. So basically, I'll start off with the smallest one. Again, nose hook it and slide it all the way up. And with these shaky heads, uh, the small shaky heads, it's going to have a plastic keep on this one. So it's going to, as you can see, it's going to go from the hook then up to the plastic keep. So it's going to gradually get thicker and then it's going to go back down to the diameter of the hook before the jig head. So I'm going to slide that all the way up and over the plastic keep. And then again, just kind of measure the distance and push it through. And again, this is going to be, I usually would use the, the small weight heads for the super finesse fishing on like a spinning tackle this uh the worm is actually a little big for this hook but uh yeah this is going to be for heavy or light rocks uh gravel bottoms uh near dams uh just again putting it and you're just going to shake it and the buoyancy of these yamamotos are really incredible so these are just going to float up on the top and just gonna dance back and forth and it's gonna be really good you can get all the shaky head worms and with the fancy buoyant tails and all that kind of thing but really 
all you need is a good Senko, and you could even get tied uh, uh, dye dips where you can dip the tail and change the color, so it's gonna have the fish hone in on it even more. But uh, yeah, you can still do that. And with the second weight, uh, we're gonna move up to more of a football head style uh, shaky head. And again, this is I believe about a three aught. Uh, so oh, that's the tail. Uh, push it in up through the nose swing it around that was even a little too far but it'll be okay up and again just like the one before it's pretty basic uh, and then there you have it again skin hook it so it's relatively weedless and with this I'm gonna throw this in even heavier cover uh, heavy rocks boulder bottoms uh, and this is just gonna knock around on the bottom and it's going to shake the tail again uh, really heavy bottom so this will be great for that and then finally with the shaky head my the last kind of coronation of the shaky head we can go with the big big uh, screw on shaky heads and with this this one's a little different so you're going to just screw it on just like you would like a bottle cap or something like that you're going to have to press it all the way through and then find kind of measure it out as you can see kind of take it about right there pull back and push through yeah and that's the good and bad thing about these Senkos is that these are so durable they're almost hard to get through your hooks if your hooks really aren't sharp but they're just so strong and durable but yeah that's kind of a butchered way on how to put a big uh, shaky head on a, a Senko uh, so again this has a nearly completely flat bottom if you guys can see that it just flattens up all of the top these are really really stout strong hooks and so you're gonna fish this in really heavy cover if you need to get through like a grass mat or something and this is just gonna hit down on the bottom and you're just gonna pop that along the bottom and get all those fish riled up uh, yeah so that's way number two with the shaky head Senko way number two I am gonna be rigging the classic uh, wacky rig but the thing about it is I have a few tips and tricks on how to improve the wacky rig uh, and this is just from experience so normally a just a basic uh, beginner wacky rig you're gonna want to take some EWG or not EWG excuse me a, um, uh, a gamakatsu octopus hook these guys are ridiculously sharp sharp again I'm not sponsored by either Gary Yamamoto or uh, uh, Gamakatsu I'm just very big fans of their products so I a little tip I keep all of my wacky rig drop shot hooks and stuff like that on a little safety pin put it through the eyelet so they all kind of stay in place and you don't have to worry about them tangling up or anything like that so you're gonna want to take your uh, octopus hook close up your safety pin uh, toss that off to the side and you're gonna want to find roughly about center on your worm so I take it fold it in half and kind of just guesstimate usually half is right on after, right before the segment so you're just gonna want to slide it all the way up through and then there's really your basic uh, wacky rig uh, Senko but here is my way to really spice it up I'm going to take a wacky rig tool and really just change the hookup ratio of a um, Senko so still I'm gonna find again this has some o-rings down here on the bottom and I'm just gonna slide up two right here and I like the clear uh, o-rings over the uh, black o-rings because I feel like these just hide better on the plastic so they're not as noticeable uh, this o ring's a little stuck there we go and so I'm just again gonna find about half right after the segment and I'm gonna put it right into the little tube and I'm gonna pop that o-ring on now most people would put it like that just like that plain but what I like to do is almost make a crisscross pattern like that of the o-ring so I take two o-rings and kind of bend the Senko in a way <sighs> But normally, let me try that again. 
uh, and it is kind of tough to do this and if you're in a hurry uh, most people are just going to want to uh, go with the single o-ring uh, and it's all really personal preference with the o-rings but uh, again I'm going to show you how to do this you're going to slide it all the way up push it to the end find center and try if I can do this right bring you guys in closer where you can see it try to keep it on half uh, there we go I got it <laughs> uh, so yeah there you can see that you have them crossed over just like that so you can take your octopus hook and put it right in the middle of that X so now your hookups are going to stay even better ratioed so you have your octopus hook through that through your o-rings now that alone would look work awesome if you're just fishing it weightless uh, and weightless has its time and place if you're fishing a bed or fishing uh, like off a dock or anything like that that's great but if you want to spice it up a little you can take a little you know uh, nine penny nail or something like that or you can get these fancy little nail weights uh, I got these for my mystery tackle box uh, subscription and you can just push it in the nose of the Senko and now these are kind of a pain in the butt to get in because they're not sharp at all you just kind of have to jam them in there and so I'm gonna push that in there and the nice thing about the, this clear light pink Senko is that you can actually see the weight in there uh, so now you're gonna fish this and automatically it's gonna be transformed into a Nico rig and so now this is gonna fall at an uh, extended rate and this is just gonna fall and then when you pop it again it's gonna fall again and just over and over again so instead of normally falling just like that it's gonna come down with the weight leading and then just the in my opinion the best way to fish a Senko uh, uh, wacky style is not with the uh, octopus hook but a weighted octopus a weighted wacky hook now this is a little big again because I'm trying to show you guys a little bit clearer I'm just gonna take it hook it through the X I will usually just say X marks the spot slide it right through the X and up through around the nice thing about these guys as well is that they're not only weighted they're weedless as well you can just bring that little uh, weedless guard and boom you have a weighted weedless Senko now so you can pitch this in very heavy cover and so this is gonna fall with the weight straight down and it's gonna just give you that awesome action of a weighted Senko things are about to get drastic I'm going to be taking my Senko and rigging it Nico rig so now I'm just gonna take it and boom break that bad boy within what two inches two and seven eighths and I'm just gonna rip that guy in half and take my Nico hook and I'm gonna fish this guy a Nico rig style so I'm just gonna bring the you know what not this hook that's not quite big enough here we go that's more like it so we're just gonna take it and bring it all the way around and hook through and the nice thing about this guy is that it has a plastic keep so it's gonna hold your plastics on just a little bit better push that over it and boom you have a Nico rig Senko alright guys so that's gonna be it for the video today I know it's kinda of short no fishing no nothing anything like that but uh, that's gonna wrap it up today I have a few ideas rolling in this brain let me know if you'd like to see any video that I haven't done yet I got this nice new leather rolling chair that I like to lean back in let me know if you guys want to see any videos that you're thinking of and tell me your opinion on something what would you guys say if I designed a t-shirt or a um,
wear a t-shirt just just a t-shirt uh me and jason are thinking about getting some t-shirts for the trip that we're going on uh designing that bad boy uh comment down below just tell me what you want to see make sure you follow me on instagram uh i will see you guys in the next video remember as always stay sharp stay smart stay safe my name is christian hatch thank you for watching all west fishing i'll see you guys on the next video